Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm giving you the best 10 tips to pick up the 12-0 win in the Duo Showdown Challenge, which is coming out this weekend. So this is just 10 generic tips. Um, obviously there was balance changes this morning. Haven't really discovered the meta much, although I do have some idea. So tomorrow I'm going to be releasing a full video of the best brawls for every single map in the challenge. But today it's just 10 of the best tips for the challenge. So yeah, definitely subscribe if you want that video. Make sure to watch to the end so you get all the best 10 tips. Really appreciate everyone using code Tom. And also I want to say, you know, why should you listen to me? Um, well, well, if you guys don't know this, I'm the Bruce World Champion from 2019. So I, I feel like I'm pretty qualified, as you can see, 2019. I'm I'm pretty qualified to give you advice about <laughs> tips and stuff like that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so getting into tip number one then. So of course you should be using the best rulers for each map. Um, so tomorrow I'll bring out a full guide. But for today, since we've just had balance changes, I don't know exactly what the best ruler for every map is. All I know is that Colt, um, B, and also Edgar got pretty big nerfs, but they are still going to be very usable. I would recommend using a Byron in every single comp on every map. So a Byron and then even either um, a B, a Colt, or an Edgar. And as I said, I'll bring out another full guide tomorrow on the exact brawlers you should be using for each map. So definitely look out for that. Okay, so getting into tip number two then. So you should not be playing with randoms. Make sure you're playing with a teammate. If you can't find a teammate, Feel free to join my Discord server, the link will be down below, and you can actually find a teammate in a, the channel which is called Find Duo um, Partner, and that way you can find someone pretty good, you're going to have to kind of talk and also tell them what kind of what bro to use, and it's going to be much, much better than playing with a random. If you can't find anyone in my Discord server, then you can join um, clubs, try and find someone from a club. Or you can use the find a team feature. Hopefully you can find someone. And this way you can make sure that you go the best comp possible. Um, because yeah, if you play with randoms, they can go whatever brawler. And randoms are bad. So just don't play with randoms. Either join my Discord server to find someone. Join a club. Use a um, looking for team feature. Or of course you can just find someone from your friends list. If you have someone else that wants to do it with you. Okay, so tip number three then. So you want to make sure that you check every single bush. So the way I look at it is that I like to think that every bush has like a, a 10 power cube Colt. 10 power Cube, cube Edgar so you're preparing for the worst situation and you're hoping for the best so make sure to check it out um, make sure you literally you have to check every bush because otherwise you, you don't know who could be there so definitely check every bush make sure there's no one in there and so you can kind of clear that area and move on to the next area okay so tip number four then um, so there's a ton of boxes in the mid usually on every single showdown map and they do it this way so that they tempt people to kind of go into mid but this is actually a really bad strategy because if you go into mid you're going to get pinched by the other four teams um, if they're good like around you so you have to be really careful going into mid if you do go into mid make sure you have a way out a clear way out where no one's going to pinch you and yeah just make sure you can find your way out be really really cautious if you're going to mid I don't recommend it like 90% of the time you have to be so careful because if you get pinched by four teams there's a really small chance you're gonna be able to survive okay so moving into tip number five then you are gonna get a win for first or second place so that means you don't necessarily need to be the strongest team in the lobby to pick up the win um so say if a team has like 10 cubes another team has five cubes and your team has like zero cubes make sure you're going for the weakest team so that would be the team with five cubes obviously like second still counts as a win so you know if you aren't in the best position you don't necessarily need to play to win and be the best in the lobby you can actually just play for second make sure you're getting all the other teams out make sure you're putting yourself in a good position where you're furthest away from the good team make sure you're trying to like pinch that second place team um and yeah if you pinch a second place team you're gonna be able to kill them with the other team very easily that means you're gonna be able to get that second place and hopefully pick up a win okay guys so the next tip tip number six then is gonna be make sure you know where every single spawn is on the map um, you could do this by going to websites such as like brawl stats or you can just search up the map usually um, on google and there'll be it will like show you the spawns for duo showdown make sure you learn that because it's very important to know where all the other teams spawn also in the game i kind of like to build a visual map of where the other teams are just in your mind so you know kind of where the safe areas are um, and you can kind of just go through the game and you have kind of a good idea of if you're going to get pinched soon, if you can move and pinch other enemies with another team and stuff like this. It's just really good to, to start building kind of visual map in your head as soon as you start playing of where all the other teams are. So you can kind of get an idea of uh, like where it's best to position yourself. Obviously, as well, this will help with going into mid. Sometimes it's really risky. But if you know where all the other teams are, you know that you have um, you can get out, say, to the right and there's no one there, then this is obviously really good. And you can go into mid, get a ton of cubes. So it really, really helps to know where the other teams are. Start kind of noticing this and starting to build 
um, a map of where all the other teams are. And this way, it's going to help you pinch other teams and obviously just stay alive for longer. Okay, so tip number seven then. So this one is... Um, when you start off the map, you obviously want to grab the cubes next to you or the boxes you can see. And then I would say just start moving in one rotation. So either like anti-clockwise or clockwise around the map. This is going to essentially um, push you into another team. It's going to force you into a fight with another team, which is a good thing for you. Because essentially you want to expand the kind of area that your team has. And by moving around, you're going to get a lot more area. Also, what this does is it increases the chance of you pushing a team into another team. So they're running away from you, they're going to run into another team and you're gonna be able to pinch them with that team. So if they get trapped in between two teams, this is like called a pinch. And essentially both teams shooting at them, it's gonna be pretty easy for you to kill them. So another way to avoid getting pinched is by not staying in the same place. If you don't have much area to your, like your team, and if you just sit in a bush and then someone shoots you and you get pinched, it's just not good to sit in a bush or even stay in the same place. That's why I recommend moving around and trying to get in kind of the most space possible. And yeah, once you get this kind of area and territory as your team, you can start pinching other people. Obviously, if you have the most kind of area to your team, you have the lowest chance of getting pinched because you can always just move into this area. Make sure you're kind of trying to expand your area as a team and make sure you're not staying in the same place because this is just going to result in you pinching, uh, getting pinched, and you're probably going to die. Okay, so this leads us nicely on to the eighth tip then, which is that if you're getting pinched by two teams, um, and there's no way other like other way to get out of it. You have to fight one of the teams You want to make sure you pick the weaker team say if one team's got four cubes and one team's got eight pick the four cube team um, Or you can do this by like what brawlers they have if they have really strong brawlers like Colt Byron Then you don't want to push that team maybe push the team with say a Shelly um, Or just weaker brawlers in general So whether it's cubes or the type of brawlers make sure you're pushing the team with the kind of lowest cubes or just the weakest team um, if you are getting pinched and that'll give you the highest chance of kind of getting out Also, there's another strategy you can do where you kind of split up So if you're getting pinched or if you just don't have any cubes and your play is to kind of play for second You can kind of just uh, either like keep one person there So they're kind of satisfied they're gonna get that cube and then just kill that person Then maybe the other person can make a play to kind of run away this is obviously really risky because sometimes it doesn't work. But at the end of the day, if you're getting pinched, there's a very high chance that you're going to die. So if even one of you survives, that's maybe going to lead to you surviving for long enough to get to the end of the game and maybe pick up a second place instead of it being a loss. Okay, so moving into the ninth tip then. So this one is very basic. This one is just around um, staying like staying around your partner. You want to stay around your duo partner because um, you don't want to be far away from them. If you end up getting 2v1, it's going to be really bad for you. Make sure you're with your duo partner. You don't want to be standing on top of them, obviously that's just bad make sure you're standing kind of near each other though so you can help each other out if there are any enemies okay so moving into tip number 10 then so this one is when you your teammate dies and say you've just killed a full squad there'll be a ton of power cubes on the floor instead of picking them up straight away what you want to do is wait for your teammate to respawn um, and then pick them up and obviously your teammate will get these power cubes this one's pretty basic but definitely make sure you do this so that your teammate has as many power cubes as possible okay guys that's going to finish it for the video as i said i will be releasing the best brawlers for the challenge tomorrow but i wanted to make sure that i had completely the best comps for you guys so that's why i waited and didn't release them today just because banner changes literally just dropped not really any chance that i'll get the perfect comps for you so as i said they'll be out tomorrow hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe if you are not already make sure to like the video and i will see you guys in the next one peace